Welcome to lecture on applied hydraulics and pneumatics. Today's uh, title is uh, FRL unit. Filter regulator uh, lubricator. So uh, short form it is called FRL. Consists of three elements. A filter F to generally remove particles above 40 micron in size and water. A regulator which controls the pressure and a lubricator L to provide a controlled uh, quantity of oil into the system. So FRLs, filter, regulator and lubricators guarantee the efficiency and durability of pneumatic tools. Including an FRL in your uh, air system is vital to running an efficient airline setup and key to achieving a good return on investment. FRL unit comprises a filter, regulator and lubricator. These individual units can combine into one unit to ensure clean air in pneumatic system. It is also possible to use each component individually. A proper air filter, regulator and lubricator unit in a pneumatic system provides higher reliability of the components downstream, reduce power wastage from over pressurization and increase component lifetime. The three components in the FRL unit work together. So filters remove water, dirt and other harmful debris from an air system which is often the first step in improving air quality. Regulators, the second step in the FRL system is a regulator. Regulator adjusts to control the air pressure. So basically a pressure regulator. The system to ensure that downline components do not exceed their maximum operating pressures. So next one is lubricators. As you are aware that lubricators reduce the internal friction in the air tools by releasing a controlled oil mist, oil in the form of a mist, oil mist into the compressed air. This is often done, lost and or right before the component that needs lubricant. That is just before, what do you say, uh, actuator, just before an actuator, so lubricators are uh, provided. So here you can uh, see this uh, typical unit. So filter, uh, regulator, so you can adjust the pressure by move, uh, say turning the knob. So here you can see this uh, pressure indicator, uh, pressure gauge. Then after that you have a lubricator. So finally then this is connected to the actuator or a load. So filters remove water, dirt and harmful debris. So as I already told you, it's the same uh, function which uh, uh, filter uh, does. So the main uh, thing here is, so when the dirt particles are there, so that may affect that uh, this one uh, function of a cylinder or sometimes it may produce cracks or wear and tear of uh, this uh, uh, actuator uh, may be so increase then or it may malfunction if any case a water drop uh, or water particles or water entrapped in the system then probably it may block uh, the airflow because uh, water is uh, incompressible then it may create problem. So that for wherever we prefer or wherever we use this pneumatic system, it is always preferable to use FRL unit. Okay. So the bowl material and drainage type are also necessary to get dry. The bowl comes into contact with contaminants and houses the filtered particles. Therefore, the pressure, temperature and the chemicals present affect the bowl material section. Filter also require drainage using an automatic, semi-automatic or a manual drainage system or a condensate to drain can attach to the outlet to remove the filtered contaminants. So here you can see that uh, typical uh, this air filter, air is allowed, air is uh, probably uh, allowed to come from a compressor, it is allowed to go through the filter. So here you can see that because of this shape, the higher density particle will come down and it is collected at the bottom. Then after that air moves inside through this 
filter micron uh, filter and after that uh, uh, what you say filtered air moves to the so pro, uh, next unit so regulator then uh, after that it may go to lubricator this is the symbol so if the here this is a drain valve if it is done uh, manually you have to use this symbol so if it is a automatic uh, drain valve then we have to use uh, this symbol this is a graphi graphical symbol of a filter the air is uh, air to be filtered is allowed downward with a swirling motion that forces the moisture and the heavier particles to fall down the deflector used in the filter mechanically separates the contaminants before they pass through the cartridge filter the filter cartridge provides a random zigzag passage for the air flow this type of air flow arrests the solid particles in the cartridge uh, passage the water vapor gets condensed inside the filter and is collected at the bottom of the filter bowl also heavier foreign particles that are separated from the air are collected at the bottom of the bowl bowl then the accumulated water and the other uh, solid particles at the bottom of the filter either may be drained off manually or automatically here you can see this uh, pressure regulator okay so by adjusting uh, this uh, screw either uh, turning clockwise or counter clockwise so you can either increase or uh, decrease the pressure or you can set the pressure in fact so here uh, you have uh, various uh, uh, thing here diaphragm uh, here valve seat is there valve is there then uh, you have an inlet port then uh, outlet po po port is there <coughs> so you can uh, regulate uh, this uh, uh, pressure by varying this uh, spring uh, pressure so this is the graphical symbol of uh, pressure regulator so it may be called a pressure reducing valves so it may adjust and control the system's air pressure to the limit downstream pressure so why do we have this because the uh, some system based on the requirement the pressure will vary some system may require 5 bar some system may require 8 bar some system may require 2 bar accordingly you have to set the pressure so for that uh, we, we use a regulator so that what we call it as a downstream uh, pressure and if the pressure increase what will happen it may uh, affect the component so you have to set the pressure uh, correctly two of the most critical section criteria for pressure regulators are pressure rating <coughs> excuse me if it is a relieving or non relieving regulator pressure rating is essential to include safety factor on the maximum input pressure so that regulator can handle excess pressure in standard pressure regulators manual knob sets the output pressure typically regulators manual will have a flow curve that allows the user to correctly size the regulator based on system flow rate and the desired outlet pressure regulators also provide a consistent and stable output pressure so next one is uh, lubricator pneumatic lubricator so the main uh, purpose of lubricator is uh, to reduce the friction so increase the uh, uh, what is life of this uh, component moving component lubricators reduce the internal friction in tools or equipment by releasing a controlled oil mist into the compressed air knowing the pneumatic components uh, need or lubrication will determine the oil type and drip rate the amount of oil released downstream what we call as a drip rate there are two types of uh, lubricators here you can see this uh, lubricating uh, principle so the <coughs> air enters here so then after that uh, it moves outside so due to this uh, venturi effect so what will happen uh, the velocity increase due to the here you can see that uh, it's a restricted opening is there so because of uh, this one the uh, velocity increases and the pressure decreases then uh, the i uh, the pressure so uh, uh, operate here uh, the 
operating uh, pressure is a normal atmospheric pressure because of this reduced pressure oil flow through this uh, tube and it drops over there and it is uh, taken away by this uh, air then it's again once again it goes back to the so it goes to the what you say uh, actuator this is the symbol for lubricant so mainly the principle involved is a venturi when the opening that is uh, uh, restricted then pressure decreases and velocity increases because of this low pressure it draws draws oil from the bottom and it produces a mist <coughs> so this is the basic idea oil fog lubricator supply 100% of the oil seen in the slide glass downstream as a large droplet it is suitable for short distance and typically just for one component requiring heavy lubrication similarly micro fog lubricators supply roughly 10% of the oil seen in the side glass downstream mist less than 2 micron micrometer these lubricators are suitable for long distance and multiple components advantages fral units ensure clean air delivery to pneumatic system system ports hence uh, system uh, blockage may be avoided lubrication causes better life of ports regulator devices avoid pressure drop or rise so that leakages and pot damages may be avoided equipment lifetime may increase installation is easy easy to maintain and service disadvantage if a fral unit is placed in the place of heavy vibration then it may damage the unit piping materials uh, without flexibility such as steel tube piping are prone to be affected by excess movement uh, loads and vibration from the piping side use flexible tubing in between to avoid such effects thank you very much uh, for watching this video